Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am so excited to be bringing back my Project Pan Roulette and it is a collab once again with my friend Alexi. I'm so excited to be doing this project again. We had a blast doing this last year. It definitely brought us closer together as well working on this project. We had so much fun and now we talk every single day. Like she's one of my friends and I think that you guys would really love her if you haven't yet checked out her channel. I think that you'll find her love of makeup super inspiring. Her looks are so creative. I just think that she's a lot of fun and she's really relatable as well. I think that you guys would really, really like her channel. So head on over there if you haven't already. Give her some love. I know that she deserves every little bit of love. So go and check out her channel. So if you guys didn't see this project last year, it is a pretty simple premise. We have 50 categories in a Google spreadsheet numbered one to 50 and we're going to put in random.org variables 1 to 50 and select six integers. So we are going to get six of those categories selected and each category prompts you to choose an item within your collection. So we are going to choose six items to focus on. So I love that the, the idea of this project is a little bit more random. It's a little bit less um, calculated. I really like that. So the items that I'm going to be selecting from this, I'm not necessarily aiming to finish, but I am going to create some goals to try to work on for the next four months, get more use out of products, get more use out of my collection by doing this project, and hopefully complementing the project that I am already working on, my rolling project 10 pan. But I really like the premise of this project. I think it's so much fun to randomly pick items to focus on. It gives me an option to explore my collection while doing other projects and having a little bit more fun with this project too. Um, like last year, I challenged myself with like a glitter eyeliner and I made some really great progress. So I'm really excited to be doing this project again and we're just gonna hop in and pick the categories. So I'm gonna pick the categories now. So I just have my laptop off to the side. So I'm gonna pick six categories from the 50 categories and I'm going to hit get numbers on random.org. I have random number 42, 5, 1, 8, 22, and 21. Just went through and saw what my categories are so I'm going to go pick my products based on them and then I'll share with you guys what the category is and what product I chose for it. So I will be right back to do that. I've made my six picks. I swatched a bunch of products within my collection and I have now finally narrowed it down. It took me quite some time, but um, I do love this project for how random it is and how like quickly it makes you think on your toes. So I have some items that I wouldn't otherwise put in projects, but I wanted to just work through them. Category number 42 was an item that highlights, brightens, or illuminates. And you would think you'd go for a highlighter or like an inner corner highlight sort of shade or something like that but I actually decided to go for an item in my NYX Highlight and Contour Kit, and I wanna use this shade, which already has a ton of progress on it already. Little cat sneeze. This is the shade Cream. So I wanna focus on this one because it is a little bit too brightening for me. It's a little bit too yellow, so I wanna just get it out of my collection. I have the Anastasia Highlight and Contour Palette, and I prefer the yellow shade in there, which also has a lot of pan on it. But I just want to finish this guy up. I think that if I put my mind to it, I can finish it up fairly quickly. It's just that this often gets neglected because as you can see, my palette is a little bit out of sorts. I finished up a pan and then I ended up putting a blush in here. So I do really want to focus on the products that I do like in this palette over the next year or so. So this is a really good way to get myself motivated on this palette. I might leave it in my Z palette or in my ColourPop palette, I'm not really sure yet what I want to do with this shade, but um, I do want to focus on this one and my goal is definitely to use it up in the next four months. I think that's totally attainable, so definitely want to finish this one up. The next category that I selected was category number five and that was a product you purchased because of YouTube and that was really difficult to select because so many of the products in my collection, to be honest, I chose because of YouTube because they were hyped on YouTube because I saw a multiple reviews on YouTube so it convinced me to purchase it and so it was really difficult to narrow this one down but I think that this was a really good choice for me to make. This is the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. I have mine in the shade Light I believe, yeah, Light Ivory 
and I don't have any like visible um, like empty spots other than like one little spot here but I know that there's not a ton of product in here so realistically I know that I can finish it I have already taken out the stopper and there is a lot more product in here now that I've taken out the stopper but I think I should be able to finish it in the next four months I'm not certain on that but my goal would definitely be to make as much progress as possible and to potentially get this out in the next four months but I'm just not certain because of uh, having recently taken out the stopper. I haven't used it since then so I don't really know how much remains in here but I would like to get this out of my collection. So the next category that I selected was category number one which is a product with cute packaging and for that I wanted to choose a mini product however I could definitely have chosen several items within my collection but I always think that deluxe size minis are super cute so I chose the um, Marc Jacobs Lamarck lip cream and this one is in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I do believe that this was a Sephora birthday gift, correct me if, that, if I'm wrong, but I think it was like several years ago, so it's time for me to work through this. And the packaging is adorable, I love this like rounded edge rectangle, I, I love everything about this, the size of it, even like the, the small little detail here with the silver dot where um, the lid meets the base. I think this is just so cute. and. I don't have a ton of product in here, but I never reach for this item just because I have so many lip products in my collection, but I just want to work on getting rid of some of these older products, and this one is definitely getting older in my collection, so it's time to let it go, it's time to work through it, so my goal would also to be to finish this one. I'm so bad with lip products, guys. I'm really, really bad with lip products, so I'm struggling to say I want to finish it, but I have four months, I think I should be able to get pretty close to finishing it, so my goal again is to finish this one. The next category that I selected was category number eight, and that was a product of your choice, which was a little too broad for my personal preference, but nevertheless I wanted to focus on an item that I actually potentially was going to end up rolling into my Project 10 pan later on this year, so I might as well give myself a head start. I chose the Benefit Rockateur blush. And this is one of the very few non cruelty free products that remain in my collection. And I have been using it actually a lot anyways, even though it's not in a project. So I want to focus on this one, give myself um, a goal of hitting pan in the next four months. I don't want to use it up. And I just want to work my way through it, really get to enjoy this product while it's in my collection because it's not cruelty free. I don't want to keep it in my collection after this year. So whether I choose to roll this into my rolling project 10 pan in the future, I have no idea, but for now I definitely want to hit pan on it and make the most out of it. The second to last category in this project is category number 22, and that one is a product that you love. And I wanted to go for something, originally when I was looking through my collection, I wanted to go for something that I already use frequently, but I felt like those are items that I already reach for, I'm not going to be challenging myself to be reaching for them. So. I chose something that I love, I always love the result, I always get a lot of compliments when I wear this, but it's something that is going to be a challenge to use in 4 months. So it is the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner and this is in the shade Zulu, it's a beautiful like almost minty teal turquoise kind of colour, I don't know how to describe this one, it's a beautiful shade and it is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous and one of my favourite products in my collection that I don't reach for quite often enough. It is phenomenal, and as you can see, there isn't a lot of product in here. I'll have to show you guys a close-up, obviously, but it's one that I don't find myself reaching for very often. However, I am actually wearing it today, which is hilarious because I didn't anticipate to be putting this in any project, but I really do love the way that this product makes my eyes look. It really brightens up my eyes. It looks really cool, and it's a really fun way to um, add some color to any look when I wear this in my waterline. I don't tend to wear it on my lash line um, on the upper or lower lash line. I always wear it just in my waterline. So I think this will be a really fun product to focus on. I can wear it when I'm wearing more natural looks and I have just mascara on, but I can also wear it when I'm wearing heavy makeup like this look and I want to open up my eyes a little bit more without putting white or nude in the waterline. So this is a really good product that I just don't seem to reach for quite enough, but I absolutely love the way that it looks and the result that it gives me. So. I want to focus on this one. I don't 
think I will be able to finish it, but I want to give myself a goal of finishing it up in the next four months. The final category that I selected is category number 21, and that is a sparkly product. So I actually got this category last year, and that was the most challenging category for me to choose, and I think I did really great integrating sparkly product into my project last year, but that was also over the holidays. So I think this one's gonna be the biggest challenge for me, but I chose a product that I think I'm gonna be able to wear a lot and have a lot of fun with. I chose the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Birthday Cake, and this was a limited edition product from last year's um, birthday pack from ColourPop. Absolutely beautiful pink with silver reflect in it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade, and I'm really excited to make more use out of this one. I think that this um, is gonna look really good with the pink that's currently in my hair, as well as with the One Month One palette that I have chosen, the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I think that this works really well on its own or with a lot of different shadows, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. My goal is definitely not to get this one used up, but my goal is definitely to hit pan and then make some significant use out of it. I think realistically I'll want to reach for it one to two times a week. I don't really want to reach for it more often than that, but if I get one to two uses every single week out of it, I'm more than, will, I'll be able to hit more than pan and actually make some really good progress on this one. So that is my goal for this one. If I feel like I've made enough progress after the first month and I've hit enough pan, I haven't yet hit pan on this, but if I have hit pan by that, I might decide to roll something else into it. I'm not really sure. We will see when we get there. So. Definitely stay tuned for the upcoming updates in this project. It is going to be running until the 5th of June. Hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the products that I selected for this project. I am really, really excited to be focusing on these six items. I'm really excited that I'm going to be collaborating with Alexi yet again, and we're going to be doing this for the next four months. So there will be three updates in this project, as well as the finale on the 5th of June. So definitely stay tuned to see how we both do on this project. I'm really excited to be focusing on these items. I feel like I've given myself some pretty good yet attainable goals and let me know what items you guys would choose for these categories or what items you are working on for Project Pans at the moment. I am always inspired by you guys so definitely let me know what you guys are working on and thank you guys so so much for watching and definitely go check out Alexi if you haven't already. So. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.